Pouring numbers like equations Trench talk When you jump up off the porch as a young And start posting on the block with the junkies And get it bounced What's good, what's good, what's good, man? I know everybody said, damn, Tyler, man, your Lakers got swept You ain't gonna speak on it, bro LeBron talking about retiring You ain't gonna speak on it, bro I'm gonna speak on it, nigga I'm talking about it, nigga LeBron You too great to retire right now, bro Hell are you talking about, man? Who you talking about, LeBron? You gonna retire from what, bro? LeBron gonna have me, LeBron gonna have me coming to motherfucking LA on his ass, man. LeBron, you retire for what? You ain't retiring, bro. Kyrie Irving is coming to LA, ladies and gentlemen. I'm saying it first, man. I'm breaking the motherfucking news, nigga. Kyrie is coming to LA, man. He gonna fix our little scoring problem. We already got a fucking championship team. Add Kyrie. We're going over the hump. Yes, A.D., LeBron James, and Kyrie Irving. So, the motherfucking Kyrie, you're not going back to Dallas, what? Come on over here to the Laker Nation, baby. Come on now. Come on, Kyrie. We need you, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, come on, man. LeBron talking about retirement. What are you talking about, man? Like I said before, man, I'm going to get into this, man. All my, most of my guys are gone out of the playoff, man. My Donovan Mitchell gone. Uh, LeBron gone. All, all I got is Jimmy Buckets right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always talk about all oh, my, my guys that I rock with in the NBA, man. They're my guys, man. I've never been a KD guy. I've never been a stuff guy. Or I'm a Donald Mitchell guy. And I'm a Jimmy Butler's guy. And I'm a LeBron guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Period, man. I wanted Donald Mitchell to come to L.A., motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With motherfucking Jordan Clarkston. <laughs> Yo, that's my other guy, man. Yes, man. Things happen in the NBA, man, but you got to give respect to the Joker and Denver. You know what I'm saying? They did their thing, man. There was no joke. They was playing no motherfucking game. They was busting ass, and you got to give respect to them. I don't watch no Denver games. I don't know what talking about ratings and all of that shit. I don't watch Denver games. I don't know nothing about that team over there, man. You know what I'm saying? I see my man Green over there. I would say, damn shit, if he get a ring, that'd be good too, man. You know what I'm saying? A couple of guys on that team, man, deserve a ring. You dig what I'm saying? My man LeBron got four MVPs. You know what I mean? He got all type of records and accolades. You know what I'm saying? So one little loss, a sweep don't, don't tuck away my, for my man legacy, man. Because when if Kyrie come to motherfucking L.A. or, 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 or motherfucking or Dame Lillard, nigga, there's a new story in town, bro. Don't break that whole team up because that's a good team they got in L.A., my nigga. And then two times you beat Golden State and, and John Morant, you know, you got a good team. You don't need to break that up. This is what my man used to tell me back in the day when I used to talk about the Heat with Tyler Hero and them, right? I was like, damn, how they lose to the Bucks this year? They won one year, lost to the Bucks. He's like, bro, they got to develop, bro. They got to go through that pain of the playoffs. Once they develop, they're going to come back strong and they're going to be dominant. He used to always tell my man, he used to always tell me that shit. He's like, man, Tyler Hero, got to. they got to develop first, bro. When they develop, you're going to see they're going to be better. Watch this playoff series. I'm like, damn, bro, won't lie. Look, a lot of the guys on LA got to develop within their playoff aggression of the game. They got to develop, man. This is a good team. You don't break it up. No, keep AD there. Keep LeBron there. Keep that team there. And if they can somehow get Dame Little or motherfucking Kyrie Irving, this is a different motherfucking conversation. This is different. Let LeBron heal the fuck up. Let him take a couple of games off next year. Let his body all the way heal up because he didn't look 100%. Let him heal up. And let them run that shit back. Let them run it back. But try to hit hard is to get Kyrie or motherfucking Dame Little. One of the niggas like that, man, that can write the scoreboard up and shit, man. You know what I mean? Look, 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 look. Hey, L.A., man, can y'all get my man Jordan Carson? <laughs> That's a three-point genius right there, boy. He lights your ass up, man. That's my guy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Jordan Carson, man. That's my nigga, cuz. What? Bring that nigga to L.A., cuz. We'll take him. <laughs> It hurt me to see my guys go out like that. I thought they was going to go out like Boston and win one game, but it's all good, man. LeBron's still the GOAT to me. He's still one of the greatest of all times playing that small forward position. AD still good with me, even though I feel like sometimes AD disappeared, but I feel like that's because he's not consistent in the regular season. Being consistent in the regular season allows you to get that tempo of the game. A lot of that shit be like, if it, it's like this, man. You, if you always stay ready within the game, you you would be ready for the playoffs like that. If you taking all them breaks and shit, and when you get in the playoffs, you're not gonna be consistent. Just like you ain't wasn't consistent in the regular season. Everything you put in the regular season and the all season gonna benefit you in the playoffs, and that's just real. You know what I mean? But hey, LeBron, stop all that retirement shit, man. 
Carmelo retired already. That's good for him. You know what I'm saying? But LeBron, we got we got two, at least two, three more years left, bro. Tell Kyrie, Kyrie, I'm calling you, bro. Come to L.A., Holmes. We need you, baby. <laughs> Kyrie, I'm calling your motherfucker ass. Pick up, what? Kyrie, I need you, baby. <laughs> Kyrie Irving made the look, 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 look. Kyrie Irving made basketball look beautiful, man. Hey, look, every time I watch my man Kyrie, man, that's my nigga. That's another guy I fuck with having two Kyrie, man. Oh, my gracious, bro. Watching him play basketball is so beautiful, bro. It ain't the slam dunks and all. It's that old AI shit. That old Allen Iverson shit, man. When you watch some motherfucking uh, Kyrie Irving, it's beautiful. He made basketball look so pretty, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just do, bro. That's what Kyrie do. He make it look beautiful. He make it look easy and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Going through defenders, nigga, crossing niggas up, spin move, um, lay off off the glass. You know, that's Kyrie. That's Kyrie Irving. He make it look beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, ain't too many niggas can do that Kyrie Irving shit, man. I'm just being real. Kyrie, don't go back to Dallas, man. I'm calling you, man. LA needs you, baby. Hey, Kyrie, we need you, baby. <laughs> Where you at, Kyrie? We need you, baby. We call it. Hey, Kyrie. Somebody, hey, look, look. I'm calling Kyrie right now, man. I need you to pick up, baby. <laughs> hey, yeah, get my man Joy Clarkson to LA, bro. Joy Clarkson to Kyrie Irving, man. I'm putting in my bid right now, man. <laughs> About though, G. I love y'all. Hey, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. And when you hit that notification bell, it will always let you know every time that I upload new content. A will to win a healthy life. All natural products. Come join the new movement, guys. We got products in different categories such as sports, weight loss, beauty, and also household products. That's all made all natural. Click the link in the description.